One thing we're repeatedly hearing from our customers is the need to scan at scale. There's fewer people scanning more applications. I'd like to highlight some of the things we're doing to help. First, this entire demo environment was deployed using our Helm chart, which is available on GitHub. This greatly simplifies deployment, um, maintenance of environments, and also allows for vertically scaling sensors as demand needs. This will also give us the ability, though, to horizontally scale. In ScanCentral DAST, using a Kubernetes cluster, we can spin up and down our instrumented browsers as client-side code and JavaScript analysis demands. This gives us vastly faster scan times. And this is especially relevant when scanning SPAs. SPAs are almost entirely client-side, so there's an additional burden on JavaScript analysis when you're scanning a SPA, both during the crawl and analysis phase. So we can see, as I've highlighted a few scan results we have here, Typically, we'll get about a 50% faster scan with horizontal scanning turned on. Um, the more JavaScript there is on the application, though, the be better the benefit is and the faster the scan will actually complete compared to a baseline. And then to reduce the noise, it's not only getting faster scans, but it's reducing the audit and validation burden. So we have our new feature, Static and Dynamic Correlation, which came out this year. With this, using the entire Fortify ecosystem, we can start sharing data between our static analysis and our dynamic scanning to reduce the burden of analysis. The way this works, SSC will initiate a scan in ScanCentral SAST. We'll take the results from that, and when a ScanCentral DAST scan is started, those results will be passed in. The WebInspect sensor being controlled by ScanCentral DAST will look at those results and craft specific attacks that will then be sent and used to validate or correlate those findings against the static results. I'd actually like to show a result of that. This is a scan from our pet clinic application where we have both SCA and WebInspect findings. And the thing I'd like to highlight is every time we have these two arrows, that means WebInspect took a static finding and correlated it against a, against a dynamic attack that it sent. So with this, we have instant prioritization of results. We know if we found something dynamically, we found it statically, this is a valid result and it should be a higher consideration when doing an audit and remediation.